South Africa is one of the largest construction markets in Africa and it also boasts some of the largest mega projects not only in the continent but also in the entire world, no doubt about it. The country is known for its differing topography, natural beauty, and cultural diversity. Having a population of over 60 million people, it is classified as one of the most developed countries in Africa with a fast-growing economy and home to one of the best infrastructures on the continent. And today, South Africa has done it again, and it is leading African states by example. In this video, you will find out why South Africa is regarded as Africa's superpower as I present to you the biggest development projects in South Africa that have gained world's recognition for being much ahead of even developed countries like New Zealand and Australia. Welcome back to Just Know It 254, before we continue, please subscribe to this channel. I promise you will have the best videos and I will make them so interesting for you to watch and learn, please subscribe. Thank you all who have done that, now let us continue. Number 1, Mkuna Smart City Project. Mkuna City is a smart city project under development on 119 hectares piece of land located at Nkazana Hamlet, near the town of Alim in Limpopo, the northernmost province of South Africa. The city is set to have facilities for industries, shopping centers, value retail, residential, business site, hotel with conference facilities, intermodal facilities, medical, educational, and sports facilities. The project is being developed by the Masangita Group of Companies, which is a leader in large-scale retail property development in the South African country. Mkuna City is reportedly the fourth post-apartheid city to be developed after Lanseria Smart Metropolis, Mukluf Mega City, and Durban Eritropolis. However, unlike the others, Mkuna City development, according to Masangita Group, may be the first project of its kind to be led by a black entrepreneur without the involvement of large foreign investors. Number 2, Meerkat Telescope Square Kilometer Array Project. Located in the Karoo region, near Carnarvon in the Northern Cape, South Africa, the Meerkat Telescope Expansion Project is part of the US $2 billion Square Kilometer Array Telescope that is being developed by three countries which are South Africa, Australia, and New Zealand. South Africa intended to undertake the entire project which is the largest of its kind in the world, in a bid to boost its industrial and technological capacity. However, the country failed to win the whole contract, after the implementing committee handed a portion to the aforementioned countries, which had been competing with South Africa for the project. Nevertheless, the South African country will develop the largest portion of the project, about 70%, alongside seven other African states of Botswana, Ghana, Kenya, Mauritius, Mozambique, Namibia, and Zambia, thereby giving a boost to the wider continent and signaling the region's growing importance. Upon completion, the Meerkat Telescope project will deliver a total of 64 dishes, site access roads, and other support infrastructures. Number 3. R573 Maloto Road Rehabilitation Project Maloto Road Rehabilitation Project is an ongoing upgrade of the R573, a regional route in South Africa that connects Pretoria with Marble Hall via Kwamlanga and Sayabuswa. The road was dubbed the Maloto Road because it passes through Maloto, at the Gautengam-Pumalanga border. The project which mainly includes changing certain intersections into roundabouts as well as upgrading the carriageway from Sayabuswa to Marble Hall started in 2016 and is expected to be completed in 2025. South African National Roads Agency Limited, the South African parastatal responsible for the management, maintenance, and development of South Africa's proclaimed national road network which includes many national and some provincial and regional route segments is spearheading the project. There are also considerations to adding a railway line following the R573 Maloto route. Number 4, Lesotho Highlands Water Project. Lesotho Highlands Water Project is the largest binational infrastructure project that is being carried out by Lesotho and South Africa through Lesotho Highlands Water Project one of the world's most successful transboundary water resources management schemes established through a treaty signed between the governments of the two South African countries in 1986. The project which is being carried out in phases involves the construction of an intricate network of tunnels and dams to divert water from the mountains of Lesotho to South Africa. 
The first phase of the project which was subdivided into two subsections is already completed while the second phase is underway. There are also plans for a third phase that will include the construction of the Tso-like dam. Upon completion, the LHWP will have a total of five dams and 200 kilometers of tunnels and water transfer facilities between the two countries that will be used to transfer about 2,000 million cubic meters of water from Lesotho to South Africa every year. While South Africa will mainly get water from the project, her counterpart, Lesotho, will get money and hydroelectricity. Number 5. Madupi Power Project The Madupi Power Project, the name of which is derived from a Sepedi word that means, gentle rain, involves the construction of a dry-cooled coal-fired power plant in Lefalel, Limpopo province. The station, which will utilize the supercritical boiler technology with increased plant efficiency, reduced coal consumption, and reduced CO2 emissions, will be made up of six units with an installed capacity of 4,764 megawatts. These units are planned as direct dry-cooled units such as those at the existing Matimba power station, thereby reducing water consumption requirements in significant ways compared to the wet cooling technology. The project is estimated to cost 11.19 billion euros. The implementation of the project, the cost of which is over 12 billion US dollars, began in May 2008 and the first unit has already been commissioned, and each subsequent unit will follow at an interval of six months. The project will feed into the national electricity grid and the entire country will reap benefits through a reliable power supply that will be developed as part of the project. Number 6. Cornubia Housing Project Cornubia Housing Project is a billion-dollar integrated human settlement project located adjacent to Umlanga, north of Durban. It is a mixed-use development, comprising residential, commercial, and industrial sites. Cornubia is the first proposed sustainable and fully integrated human settlement in the region and has been declared a national priority project. The US $1.5 billion project will be spread over 1,200 hectares, with 80 hectares earmarked for industrial development and the remainder for commercial, housing, and other social and public facilities that include schools, clinics, police stations, post offices and multi-purpose halls. Of the 24,000 residential units planned for the development, 15,000 will be low-cost homes. Number 7, SA Connect Phase 2. Initially announced in 2013, SA Connect is the government's nationwide broadband initiative designed to satisfy the National Development Plan's technological goals of establishing an equitable information society. Because of the project's scope, the government decided to undertake it in two stages. In Phase 1, the initiative planned to connect eight rural district municipality schools, health facilities, government offices, the Song Service Center, and post offices to Internet services. The state IT agency previously announced that about 970 government sites had been linked to the Internet at 10 megabits per second speeds. Plans for the next phase of the project were revealed in 2022, with President Cyril Ramaphosa stating that SA Connect must be hastened in response to the rising demand for South Africans to engage in the digital economy. Cabinet authorized the Phase 2 deployment of SA Connect, stating that it will be carried out by state-owned organizations, CETA, Broadband and Fraco, and Centec, and the industry. Upon completion, approximately in 2025, this phase will connect 44,600 government locations, including schools, health institutions, libraries, the Song service centers, and traditional authority offices. It will provide over 33,000 community Wi-Fi and broadband connections to homeowners. Number 8. Mzimvubu Water Project Mzimvubu Water Project involves the construction of a dam at the Ntabalanga site with a storage capacity of 490 million cubic meters, another one at the Lalini site with a storage capacity of 232 million cubic meters, a tunnel and powerhouse at Lalini Dam site for generating hydropower, centralized water treatment works at Ntabalanga Dam site, bulk water infrastructure to convey water to domestic and irrigated agriculture consumers, and flow gauging stations to measure the inflow and outflow from the dams as well. The project has been under development since 1962 and was commissioned by the South African government, 
through the Department of Water and Sanitation in a bid to harness the water resources of the Mzimvobu or Umzimvobu River, one of the most important and only major rivers in the country's eastern Cape province and the entire country that is still largely unutilized. Number 9. Kuzel Power Station Project Kuzel is a coal-fired power station that is being built close to the existing Kendal Power Station in the Delmas municipal area of the Mpumalanga province. It is the second most advanced coal-fired power plant project for Eskom after the Madupi power station that is being built in Lefalale, Limpopo province. The over US $7 billion station will consist of six units each rated at approximately 800 megawatts installed capacity giving a total of 4,800 megawatts. As such it will be one of the largest coal-fired power stations in the world, once finished. The power station will be coal-fired, with the coal supplied by a new colliery near the power station. Number 10. Vista Park Extension 3 Vista Park Extension 3 is a proposed development of 126 hectares piece of land in Bloemfontein, one of South Africa's three capital cities, and the capital of the Free State Province, which is also known as Bloem, into a mixed-use township. The project involves the construction of a total of 5,320 residential units including 1596 BNG housing multi-story units, 1,500 CRU or social housing multi-story units, 1,045 FLISP or GAP and rental housing multi-story units, and 1,179 freestanding open market bonded units. It also includes the development of six business and retail opportunities, mixed use, for creches, for religious sites, three schools, primary and secondary, ten parks, active and non-active, and one hospital. In addition, the Vista Park Extension 3 project involves the upgrading of bulk and link infrastructure, road, storm water, sewer, water, and electrical infrastructure construction. Thank you so much for watching, if the video was interesting, give it a like and subscribe to this channel. Also let me know what you think about this video in the comments section. Don't forget to watch the videos that have appeared on your screen, I promise you are going to like them as they are equally interesting.